So we're going to do some vocal processing and keep this in mind that we have not mixed the entire song. We haven't mixed the song. I'm actually doing this before I mix in all the, you know, the beat and the drums and all that stuff. So I'm going to play you guys like the snippet of what we're going to mix today. Um, I'll play it with the beat. Uh, and you're going to like, it's going to sound rough because we haven't started mixing yet. So just so you know, like vocal processing, I do it. Like I get the vocals like freaking dialed in before I start mixing the song. So let's hear the hook and then we'll go, uh, we'll go get started. Watch me, watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on the low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focus Turn down on those catch me, there's no future unknown. Watch me. You can watch me go. Watch me go. You can watch me go. Alright, so cool. So what we're gonna do is I'm not gonna like as you can see there's like tons of vocals here and like I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna show you all of them because it takes a long time but I kind of will just take you through the process of like how I get started you know like I'll take you through the process of like um, what to what what to do for one track and then you can kind of repeat it but um, right now what I'm doing is you can see that number seven that means there's all those takes I've already gone through all of them and found the ones I liked so I'm just gonna get rid of the other ones uh, so what we're gonna do first things first is we'll do this part of the hook where it is you know the rapping part of the hook watch me watch me grow always active never keep it I'm just gonna do one of them right now but essentially like this is a pretty much a raw track like there's no effects on it as you can see the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw a quick quick EQ on it watch me watch me grow Always active, never keep it on a low. I'm just gonna take I'm out some of the low end till not a lot yet. Watch me, watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on a low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I'm sweet. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna scan to find if there's any uh, frequencies we don't like. Watch me, watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on a low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focused on the present because the future unknown. All right, let's keep that loop on. Watch me, watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on a low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focused on the present because the future unknown. Watch me, watch me grow. These mids. Always active. I'm not a fan, so we're going to take those out pretty drastically watch me watch me grow always active never keep it on a low see if there's I'm anything around this area that i don't like watch me watch me grow always active never keep it on a low i'm trying to eat it with my bros but i might eat alone only focused on let me just take that out a little now i know around the 5k range is we like a lot i'm gonna just take that watch me Watch me grow. Always active, never keep. See how crispy that sounds. Watch me, watch me grow. So I'm gonna give it a solid Always little active, boost. never keep it on a I'll low. Give it a boost. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focus. The 10k. Okay, cool. Boom. Now I'm gonna just throw a quick and dirty compressor. I'm um, sorry, that's the wrong one. I like to use this one called. It's from Fab Filter. This is a pretty expensive bundle, but I have it because it's lit. Uh, Lazy vocal chain. So you can kind of look at uh, the settings I have. The thresholds at negative thirteen, two and a half to one ratio, uh, five millisecond attack, fifty millisecond release. Watch me. And you will do it before and after. So listen to it without the compressor. Watch me. Watch me grow with it. Always active, never keep it on a low. As it makes it a little crispy. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to do a de uh, and I use the, again, fab filter, but logic has a de that's really good. There's the de there's the compressor, but you know, I'm going to just go with de here and, uh, you know, you can, you know, you can use this, like, again, you can use the one from logic and what I'll do is I'll, I'll do both. I'm not going to actually have both on, but like for the purpose of this video, I'll show you both, but so and I think I have, no, I don't have a default. So watch me. You can hit audition and hear where those frequencies are. 
You hear where those scratchy S's and T's are, so. Watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on a low. I'm Not a big difference. Click it out. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on Logic because I've used it here before too. Um, let's so watch me, watch me grow. Using this one. Always active, never keep it on a low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focused on the present because the future unknown. Watch me, watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on a low. don't want it too much. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focused on the present because the future unknown. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active, never keep... You just got to play with it. I'm just going to use the one that I already have on here. Get rid of that. Okay. So for right now, like that's all I'm going to do for that. I'm actually going to bounce this in place right now. So, uh, and what's that? Negative. So whenever I bounce it in place, I like to keep it zero, zero. And I don't like the pan on there. Like, sorry. Like this is the main one we just did. So I'm going to literally hit bounce in place. Check it out. Bounce in place. In FL Studio, it's called something else. You know, it's called something else. Um, we're just going to call it hook, wrap, I think uh, BIP, and then normalize. I always like to take that off. Hit OK. Bam. We'll delete that. Now, listen, here's the deal. Like, this track right now is very good sounding, but I'm... I'm probably going to add another EQ. Like, in fact, I'll do it right now just so I can show you guys. But watch, watch me, watch me grow. Always active. Ne now, I'm pretty sure that I have. We're going to send a bus to it. Bus it. I'm going to um, put the bus now. I have this one. Is it this one? Drake and Lazy vocal stat. Yeah, this one's pretty damn good. So I'm going to walk you through each one of these things and what they do. Um, Oopsies, sorry guys. Uh, so for right now, like you have to tent, turn the send on. So right now, like I'm gonna play it. Watch me. You can't hear anything, but watch me. as I turn this up, you'll hear it. Listen. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active, never keep it. For right now, I'm gonna just turn the reverb and delay off for right this second, and then we'll turn it back on. So watch me. Watch me grow. Always active, never. See, that's a little too loud. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on a low. I'm Let's go before and after. So this is without it. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active. With never it. keep it on a low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. I'll throw the reverb on here too. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active. Never keep it on a low. Little I'm trying bit. to eat it with... A little bit of that. A little bit of echo. This is delay. Watch me. Watch me grow. Not a huge fan of this one. Do a little bit of a longer delay. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on a low. I'm I don't want the echo to right this second to be too big. I just want that to add space to the vocal. And same with the reverb. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on a low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Good. All right. So let me walk you through each one of these things. So here we've got an EQ. Um, a little bit of a subtractive at two. I mean, it, so every EQ is different. Like the EQ on Logic. So this is called Pro Q2. Got it in Fab Filter. This is the stock Logic EQ. It's different. It's different. I'll show you what I mean. So right now we've got the EQ for uh, Pro Q2 taking out to 240 hertz. I'm going to turn that off for a second. If I take out 240 hertz, on, on this EQ, listen to the, it's going to sound so different. Watch me, watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on a low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I... Sounds hella thin, which I don't want to do right now. So, you know, EQs are different. So like for Pro Q2, I'm taking out 240. By the way, plus when you have an effect on, um, on, a, on a bus rather than on the main... Um, Rather than the main track, that's also going to make it different. Like, listen, it's going to sound different on here with it on the auxiliary channel than it is on the actual track. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on a low. See how it sounds thinner? because it, So when, when it's on the bus, it sounds different. Keep that in mind. Um, and what I'll do too, in fact, just for fun, is I'll turn all these off so you can hear what these actually do. But here's the Pro Q2. Took out at 240, boosted it around that 5K. But Watch me. 
Watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on the low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Oh, you know oh, what? Actually, don't boost it here. This is the subtractive EQ. So we're taking a subtractive EQ. Then we're throwing on another compressor. By the way, I had already compressed. Remember what before I bounced it in place? We're throwing another one. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on the low. Same one as before. I'm trying to eat it with another compressor. I'm pretty sure it's going to be literally the same. Oh, no, it's going to be different. This compressor is going to have... Yeah, so the first compressor, two and a half to one, five attack, 50 release. This one's 12 on the threshold, negative 12, four to one. Oh, barely any attack and 54.8 release. Watch me, watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on a low. I'm Brings it out, another de-esser. Watch me, watch me grow. Really smooths it out. Always active, never keep it on a low. I'm gonna throw, th now this EQ, a little bit more subtraction here. I just kind of was looking for some, uh, Stuff, but then look at that. That's that two twenty five hundred. In fact, I'm probably gonna move this a little. Watch me, watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on the low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focused on the present, cause the future unknown. Watch me, nice. Watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on the low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I'm a lot more crispy. Saturn. This is a saturation plugin. Like, you don't have to have this on here. There's other saturation plugins. Uh, like, let's see. Mm, it's not really the same in Logic. You could, oh, Logic, they have one called Exciter, which is a really good um, saturation. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on the low. I'm you can find the frequencies and then. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active, never keep it. I mean, this is a great plugin. It's literally just called Exciter, and look how simple it is. Um, that's a great one to use as a, as a saturation tool. I use Saturn because it's the cooler, but you could basically take, like, uh, it's hard to explain, but you could basically take, like, certain parts of the EQ. Watch me. Watch me grow. I'm actually going to add Always another one. Um, where is this? Let's take this to that 20. I'm actually going to take this to zero. Actually, we'll put it at one. Watch me, watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on the low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focused on the present, cause the future unknown. Cool, and then this is the higher one, let's see. Watch me, watch me grow. Too much. Always active, never keep it on the low. Okay, I like that. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focused on the present, cause the future unknown. Nice. Watch me, watch me grow. Nice. Okay. A little bit of a limiter. What do we got here? Watch me. Now this limiter, Watch me. I can guarantee this limiter is about to go hammer, but I literally just added three dB. Um, this is going to make it glue together and it's going to bring it out. So be ready. What? I'll turn it down. So watch me. Watch me grow. Always active. Never keep it on the That's low. How crispy that is. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focused on the present because the future unknown. Crispy. Then the reverb and delay. Watch me. To taste. Watch me grow. Always active. Never keep it on the low. What I'll do is I'll mute the other rap ones and just hear how this sounds solo with the beat. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active. Never keep it on the low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focused on the present because the future unknown. Like that's fire. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on the low. A little more reverb. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focused on the present. Cause Peep this. Like, let's hear before and after. Before, no, no, no bus right now. Listen. Watch me. Watch me grow. Always active, never keep it on the low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat. You might be thinking, oh, it's a little too loud. I kind of think it's a little too loud, like it's louder than the beat. But remember, we haven't mixed anything yet. Like, this is just to get it sounding good. Watch me. So I would say fire. Now, listen, that process, you're going to repeat for all of these. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do all of these right this second because it's going to take too long. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to the second half of the hook because now we've got some melodic, like, singing um, with some auto-tune. And I'm going to show you how I use Melodyne. So it's a little bit of a different process. So first things first, I'm going to solo this out. I'm also probably going to take out the breaths right now. Watch me. Watch me. Uh-oh. See, see, I just discovered something. You could watch me grow. 
Kale, I can take the breath, but I'm a little bothered that there was a... Watch me. Oh, you can hear that there's a motorcycle that drove by. Hang on. Luckily, we've got other takes. So let's hear take two here. Oh, there's no take two. Let's hear take one. Watch me. Oh, it doesn't sound very good. Uh-oh. Watch me. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to re-record this. See, good thing I discovered, because you can hear this motorcycle. Watch me. We don't like that. You could watch me go. But what I'm going to do is, let's do it here then. Let's see how this one sounds. Watch me. You could watch me grow. We don't like all the breathing. Watch me. You hear that? You could watch me. You hear how there was that slight pop, so we're going to add the little fade tool. Fade. Hold the command icon on your keyboard. That's how that little arrow pops up. Let me zoom in even more, though. Yeah, there's a fade tool. You could me. There's a little pop probably there too. Me. You could watch me grow. See, I don't like breathing. Mm. I like breathing, but not right now. Yeah. We don't we definitely don't want that. Watch me. Same with that breath. You could watch me grow. See, and you can hear those pops, like we want to get rid of those. So I'll show you. Watch me. Watch me. Yeah, not really a big pop, but let's do it anyway. See how tedious vocal processing is? This is super important though. You could watch me grow. Oh, oh. Watch me grow. Oh. Not really a pop, but it just wasn't a smooth transition, so we do that. Oh. Cool. All right, so. Watch me. Sweet. All right, let's let's mess around with the auto tune. I mean, regardless of how good you think my singing is, it's not very. But let's just let's mess. Let's. I'm gonna go all the way here. I'm not gonna have it at this level, but then we'll turn it down. Watch me. I like that. I wanna. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me. Actually, you know what we'll do? Let's not do auto tune right this second, but I know E minor. What we're going to do is let's go Melodyne first. Watch how we do this. So, this is Melodyne. I don't do tons of Melodyne work. Um, so, what you do is you, you have your little spot where you're going to go. Uh oh. You're going to hit transfer, and then you click play. And it plays the track and it like kind of records it into Melodyne. Check it out. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, Stop it. Cool. Okay, so here's everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click here. I'm going to hit Command A. Check out what's going to happen. And I'm going to double click and it's going to snap everything in place. Check it out. Bam, now let's hear it. Watch me. Smoother. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, watch me. Let's hear it. You could watch me grow. I like it. Watch me. You could watch me grow. I freaking love that. I think that sounds phenomenal. Coolio. So now. Check it out. Now what we're going to do is, what do you think? Bounce this in place. Bounce in place. Um, I want to remember to label it hook R plus 30. I'm just going to say mellow one, as in Melodyne round one. But I, I'm, I know that it has it. All right, great. Get rid of that. OK. Um, now let's throw auto-tune on it. Check this out. Just to catch a little bit of the extras, not that it needs it. The, the song's in E minor. Humanize it, sync to host. Let's make it legato. Um, let's go pentatonic minor scale. Not, we don't need to know all that. You can keep it at trill, but don't worry. 
Uh, let's see how it's going to do here. Watch me. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, watch me. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, I'm I'm fire. I'm, I'm I'm with it. Bounce it in place again. What? Uh, let's just go mellow one plus auto tune. You don't need to label it like that. I just like to. I'm probably not going to throw any more auto tune. Like, I think I'm good. Now what do we do? Now we throw that EQ. Remember we did that subtractive EQ thing. Watch me. But already melodically, those sound smooth. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, watch me. Some rough stuff between five. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, that sounds great. Watch me. I'm a fan. Just throw the compressor on there. So that compressor, that same one we had from before. MP. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Big fan. Let's go to the DSer again. I know I'm moving fast. Watch me. Kind of extending the range of where the DSer hits just because there's some singing. It might. Uh... You could watch me grow. Uh, I think that's all we did there. Bounce in place. You're probably like, why do you keep bouncing it in place? Why didn't I do Melodyne and Auto Tune all of it bounce in place? I'll be honest, I'm not really sure. Somebody, I saw somebody else do that. I saw my one of my best friends does that kind of stuff. So I do it because I trust him. Um, now we'll bus it. Watch me. We'll bus it to that same bus one. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, watch me. That's so fire. Let's, uh, oh man, how are we gonna, let's just hear it. We're gonna hear it soloed with the beat. Watch. Let me get rid of the beat. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Does something sound weird to you guys? Watch me. You could watch me grow. You know what sounds weird? I think what I did was I put too much DS or good thing there's this thing called Command Z. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Hmm. There's something funky sounding about it. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Maybe I'm tripping. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. 
You could watch me grow. Oh, watch me. I think I did too much here. You could watch me grow. Watch me. That's better. Okay, that was it. I figured it out. I just, there was some like warp sounding thing and I didn't want to mess it up. Watch me. It still kind of sounds like that. Watch me. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Maybe I'm tripping. I think I'm just hearing stuff. All right, that's fine. Let's bounce it in place. Dude, sometimes I trip. When you hear something like that much, that many times, you're just going to start tricking yourself, I think. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, watch me. I'm a huge fan of it. Big fan. Okay, we'll get you that. You are those. Let's hear it. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You know what? There's something going on too with the auto tune, so I'm gonna actually just add another one because I can. Watch me. Just even minor. Humanize it, sync it to host, and let's just keep it right here. Watch me. Let's go with 35. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Ooh, watch me. You could watch me grow. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Like, I hear something off with the pitch. So what I'll do is I'll melodyne it again. And I'll fix it, like, manually. This is how it goes. Watch me. You could watch me grow. I think it's the me. Watch me. Right there, maybe. You could watch me grow. Oh, watch Watch me. So let's see what happens when I double click these. Huh. Watch me. You could watch me. What? Okay, hang on. Let's turn it down some more. Let's just drag it up. What? Watch me. Sorry if that's annoying. You could watch me. This is going to be annoying, Ken. Ready? What? Watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. Just trying to play with it. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, watch me. You could watch me. What? Watch me. Watch me grow. That one just does not sound like it. Watch me. You can watch me grow. Maybe it's here. Watch me. You can watch me grow. It's actually better. Watch me. You can watch me grow. That's good. Watch me. You can watch me. Mm. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could turn the volume. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Are you trying to make me move? Watch me. I just turned this close. You could watch me grow. Oh, that's nice. That's so much better. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, that's so much better. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Oh, that's so much more natural. Thank goodness. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Yes. Watch me. No more auto tune. You could watch me grow. 
watch me. So I'm going to bounce. Okay, one of the reasons I do bounce in place, like I'm sure this makes sense now, because I don't want to hold on to this Melodyne track right there or this plugin. Like if I hit bounce in place, it keeps the effect of that Melodyne, but I don't have to hold on to that plugin and waste my CPU. Watch me. You can watch me grow. Watch me. You can watch me grow. Oh, watch me. Could be that too. You can watch me grow. Watch me. You can watch me grow. Yeah, so I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with it right now. So like, I'm going to end it right here just because I don't want to do that for all of these right now. But basically, you would go through that process of like for all of these. And I'm like about to do that. <laughs> That's how much work. Honestly, I'm probably going to go eat a little bit of lunch. But that is the process of vocal processing. And by the way, we only did this. right? Remember, we did it for the hook. The rapping was easier with, with singing. You know, you melodyne, you auto-tune. Even if you're, I'm not a good singer, but even if you were a good singer, you'd probably still go through a, a round of Melodyne and Auto-Tune, definitely. So, hope this video helped. If it did, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and uh, you can check out some more tips and tricks. All right, thank you so much. Of course, also, I have a daily podcast I do called Music Mastery Podcast. Literally every day I put out a new episode documenting my journey as an independent artist. So, if you want to check that out, you can. All right, thanks a lot. Talk to you guys soon.